Well, earlier we spoke to Gashia Mwanza. He is not only an advocate for Kenya's high court, but is also among the lawyers representing families of the victims. He and a group of Kenyan lawyers partnered with lawyers in the U.S. to pursue the case. He gave us greater insight into the agreement reached between both parties. Let's listen in. So what this means now is that an agreement has been reached. As you all know, uh, there are two different scenarios in determination of court cases. A case can be determined by a judge. In the U.S., we have a provision where it has to go through a jury, and in which case it takes years. A case may take even two, three, four years. But then there's also a mode of settlement of cases, which we call mediation. Mediation is a situation where parties sort of try to agree before a mediator with a view of finding a solution in a quick way and a solution that is beneficial to both sides. So what this agreement now entails is in exchange for us agreeing that we shall not challenge the jurisdiction where the cases will be had. And now we have agreed that the cases be tried in the US in which the victims stand a higher chance of getting better awards. In exchange with that, you also share one of the prayers, which is punitive damages. Punitive damages would have entailed punishing Boeing for the wrongs that they did. And that in itself would have had devastating effects to the company Boeing itself. So it has saved its face. The other advantage of uh, the mediation is that now with this agreement, there is a possibility of settlement of these cases very soon through the mediation. The chances of mediation uh, finding an answer are very alive now because parties have been able to agree on quite a number of elements. And now the only awaited issue is damages. And now damages will be measured depending on the age maybe of the person who died, the career, and so many other factors that we take into consideration when we are assessing damages. So because now the mediation will resolve these cases, Boeing will again have an advantage. Now, as I say, remember, the victims have an advantage in the sense that they will not have to wait for five years for these cases to be decided. That's number one.